I talked about former Super Eagles coach and Green Eagles captain, Christian Chuku. He's been in the hospital lately, and there's been so much questions. People are asking what's going on. Is it fine? But the Nigeria Football Federation, they said they're going to support to support him and make sure that he gets better and come out of hospital. Achidi Ofo Kenwa is the chairman of the Enugu State Football Association. Uh, he joins us now on the program. I want to know what's going on with the chairman. So, uh, chairman Enugu State Football Association, welcome to Sports Tonight. Thank you very much. Good evening, Nigerians. Awesome. It's good to have you, have you on the show. So we've been asking questions. How is Christian Chuku doing? Thank you very much. I want to appreciate everybody that has shown concern in one way or the other. Uh, most importantly, the executive governor of the Enugu State, uh, who intervened in ensuring that the situation that I knew existed. The truth is that I was with Christian Chukwu today, and uh, Christian Chukwu is stable. That mm -hmm. does not mean that he is 100% okay. You know, over time, he had been suffering from what I describe as the layman after the game syndrome, plus age. Mm. Uh, he has been having issues with his uh, central spinal system, and uh, he has been taking medications over time, especially his waist region and his knees. Uh, this has not been sorted out, but right now, uh, when he had uh, like a bout and was taken to the hospital, uh, he has been put back to shape as the normal Christian people that we used to know. That does not translate to the fact that he doesn't need assistance to even get better. Because mm. the doctors are saying that the concern of any emergency or any person health in terms of uh, uh, being alive, not there. There is no threat that way. Rather, we should be talking about ensuring that he gets back to what he's supposed to be because there are chances of even getting very much better. He talks, he eats, he walks, but uh, he, he can get better. Uh, I'm calling on everybody, everyone in Nigeria. I went there in the instance of Nigeria Football Federation, and I understand a lot of people are showing interest. I pray it comes to be. Uh, one thing is to give him holistic treatment down here in Nigeria. The next thing is rehabilitation. And I know that in Nigeria, even the people that govern us take treatments outside the shores of Nigeria. Uh, if it is possible, I think you will get a better, better treatment. But where he is right now, the work class facility is uh, a place with the equipment that is needed for us now. And, uh, of course, uh, very good hands in terms of personnel. Uh, they are making use of, uh, as well of, of the repair hospital area in Enugu. Uh, but the environment is very clement. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so you, is this still in hospital? Yes, yeah, Chris and Tuku is still in hospital. And I'll be seeing him tomorrow, too, to have a feel of, the, of how he has gotten in a couple of hours where I have not been around. Okay. Uh, you, you told me what, what you, as um, Chidi of Okewa, understand that could be wrong with him. What do the doctors say? Do you want to tell us any of the medical conditions? Yeah, I, I don't have the mandate of the family or the mandate of uh, the hospital to comment on that. But uh, as a layman, I can rightly tell you, that at the time I saw him and we were discussing, and from what the doctors told me, uh, they are saying that uh, the normally a sportsman at that age, of the way his body size is supposed to be having some kind of ailment that's supposed to be managed over time. And he has not been doing that over time. Uh, over a long period, all these kind of things are supposed to be taken care of at intervals. And of course, you know, uh, he's in his early 70s. Uh, a whole lot of protection at that age. Uh, the doctor said uh, he had issues uh, with, uh, as well, what we know, the central spinal system, which uh, they, they have uh, already worked on to life in. But he said it can get better. Mm. Does, he, does he require surgery? The doctor is saying that uh, first and foremost is uh, stable, and which they have done. A whole lot of tests have been carried out and the results have not come out. It's only when all these things are done that they will determine the next line of action. Uh, because I did surgery with him and he said, uh, when we talk about surgery, that the person must have the body carrying capacity for the surgery in the first place. And that is what they have succeeded in doing right now. And tests are ongoing 
And when the results are out, the, the next step will be taken. Thank you so much, Chidi of Okinawa. When you see Chairman Christian Chuku tomorrow, tell him that we love him so much and we wish him speedy recovery. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so very much. That's up, sir. That's it, sir. I told you, don't worry. Christian Chuku uh, is doing just fine. So that's the update I wanted all of us to, uh, to, to get. This is where we, we, call it. we don't guess here. We, we get the right facts. So, so to, Toby, I've, I've, I've seen so much online and person saying this and that. Uh, that's the chairman of, of the Enugu State Football Association. I was with him today. I'll see him tomorrow. He's doing just fine. Yeah, I mean, um, such, uh, such a very uh, positive news. I think uh, a lot of negative news, mm -hmm. you know, uh, has been around for, for over a couple of days. And I think I'm um, really happy to, to, to hear this from, from uh, Chidi Ofo, who's also a member of the Nigerian Football Federation. So shows a lot of um, interest from the football family yeah. in Christian Shuku. We know what... He has done for football as captain of the 1980 AFCON mm -hmm. team, um, the way you want to call it then, and then he coached Super Ego. So this man has really given you know, his best for football and then football for in this kind of situation. You know, at this age and for a former footballer who would really you know, spend a lot of years in, in football, such will happen. And it's really good to see most of this feedback and most of people coming up to show support for yeah. him and this news that you know, Christian Shuko is doing fine. You know, it brings a lot of concern for a lot of people mm -hmm. over the couple of hours, but it's good to know that he's doing fine right now. So that's it, sir. Information that you can use. Former Super Eagles coach Christian Chuku is doing just fine. Yes, he's still in hospital, but um, he's in stable condition. That's what Chidi of Four Kenwa told us on the show tonight. That's what he told Channels Television News earlier, and that's the confirmation that we've just given to you also. Let's move on with the show now, talk about the second edition of the Para Kenwin and Rowing Championship. I love it when I see special athletes come together. You know why? They make me feel the power of sports. And so when I was looking at those special athletes, I was motivated. I was inspired. You look at them, most of them are wheelchair, different physical uh, challenges to be, but yep. they are not worried in any way. They believe that they can get the best out of life. Officials of the Nigeria Rowing, that's the president of the Nigeria Canoeing, Rowing and Sailing Federation, Admiral Festus Pobeni. They brought those boats out. Uh, uh, Toby, I saw a guy. I, I couldn't see his complete arm. But the way he handles the, the, the paddle and goes uh, awesome. Just, just look at this. Um, I look at this special athlete. Uh, they've been helped to get into the canoe. You know, you know these are athletes that gives you a lot of inspiration about uh, life. You know, from how... Most of them were not born like this, you know, some accident, yeah. they never gave up, they tried to push for their life and you could see what they're doing. I mean, Keno is, is coming up in, in sports right now. Yeah. This is one sport that could give us a lot of medal at the Olympics proper, right. a sport that can give us a lot of medal in, you know, Paralympics. And we have water in Nigeria, Lagos, where you can mention as many states. Yeah. All we need to do is to invest money in the facility right. and also training. I mean, 61 athletes yeah. to get involved in this tournament was very huge. From and 11 massive. parts of the country. I mean, it, 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 looks, it looks very, very big. And the fact that you know, they needed to compete more to get to the World Cup and mm. also to the Paralympics proper, Beautiful. you know, looks very, very good. I mean, like I said, you know, these, these are people that can inspire a lot of people. You, you, never, yeah. you don't want to give up about your life. Yeah. You need to keep pushing and... I'm really, really happy to say most of these athletes are doing great in, in this event. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, so look at them, right? They, they came out. Uh, they, they said, look, we, we can do something with life. For instance, uh, the story of Oma Bonnie Precious, uh, she, she, she helps her mom to transport goods through the waterways. Yep. And that was how she was discovered. And now she's a champion. She's on the verge of going to the Olympics. Yes. You know, so we cannot just look at people and say, oh, what can this one do? No, yeah. with, with sports, you can do something. I'll mm. come back to you, Toby. Sports tonight on Channels Television. Let's go on this break. When we come back, I'm not done. You feel the power of sports. Don't go anywhere. Stay. <laughs>